good, Corey. My man. Man, good looking. Just out here a little frustrated. Just thought I'd relieve some frustration through YouTube. I ain't frustrated that bad, just frustrated within myself, little anxiety. What up, Alex? What up, Crypto? Who's that Occupy Corner? Cryptocurrency? What's cracking? Man, I'm out here. I'm about to pull up in this gas station. Twist up a blunt with some of the homies I seen out here earlier. We're going to do a little who banging today. A little conversation about We Strive. A uh, little street talk. You know? Oh, yeah, I'm on a little bit of Nipsey right now. You know you got to bump Nipsey when you on Crenshaw. That's how you get through. That's how you get through Crenshaw safely is bumping Nipsey. All right, let me put that back. Track 17. Track 16. Hey, hey, Corey, yeah, I appreciate it. Occupied Corner. And this is about to be a new uh, train station right here. It used to be a Ralph's on this right motherfucker now. like four years ago. Yeah. They're building, the, uh, they building the train station right here. This is a new train track right here on Crenshaw and Expo. They're doing it real big right here. We're going to have a train going from the hood to the uh, airport here real soon. All right, yeah, my fam's is up in here. We're going to chill over here at this gas station at the Shell. Chill over here with the thuggers, the thugger thuggers, because you know I only hang out with the criminals and drug dealers. My name is Lorenzo. That's what's up, Occupy Corner, Lorenzo. Much love, player. What is going on, my man? What is going on? We Good going live. <laughs> What's up, you going chief for? man? Everything good with you, man? Yeah, yeah. Oh, just chilling. Oh, yeah, man. Y'all subscribe. Y'all keep subscribing. Make sure y'all subscribe. That's Tune right. in. Always new info. Yeah. Not just Bitcoin, though. A lot of people believe that the bro's channel is about Bitcoin, but it covers everything from current events to just, you know what I'm saying, everyday thought processing. So, you know what I'm saying? I always think about it as more than just Bitcoin. I see a lot of Bitcoin comments, but it's way more than Bitcoin. Bitcoin comments are non-Bitcoin videos. So... <laughs> you know, just, just, yeah. How's your day going? Smooth, smooth. Just nothing to do. For real? For real, <laughs> I'm about to chill and chief. Want me chief right here? Yeah, I was gonna say. You want? Is it possible to drive me on King and Fifty Let's get some go. cannabis? Let's go. All right. We rolling to go get some cannabis. What's cracking? Hanging in there. How about you? I heard that. But you got some brand. Them shoes look brand new. Them things look white. We in the van with Crypto Ken. Yeah. Gia, we going over on 50 something. No, we going on uh, 50 King. Oh, 50 King. Yeah, the old ship ass fish market. All right, all right. They desire to convert that into a, a cannabis dispensary. Oh, we got to take advantage of those. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? This lady over here. Cake. Okay. <laughs> oh, right here, this yeah, one? Yeah, she got Jaeger. <laughs> yeah, that old child I used to think, oh, back in the day, but. <laughs> old child? Back in the day. <laughs> you know, when they know they're doing nasty things, but they don't ever tell you, oh, I used to. Yeah. Ooh, I tell you. <laughs> she still do. Yeah, but she still can't tell you. <laughs> yeah, right. She don't want to. She want to tell you. She want to see what you can do about it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, man, I'm looking for board members right now. I'm looking for board members for this uh for this nonprofit. I need some like quality. Board members, I, I was gonna put just my mom and dad on the board just so I can get the paperwork rolling. More of the official um, titles. Yeah, well, considered to have a, a legitimate board, CFO, CEO, Almost. CEO, uh, they call it director, secretary, and treasurer. Just a basic one, too. Yeah. Same, same, same get down. You working for us right now. We in the work van. It's all protection. 
All protection, baby. Ain't he black? Oh, we really going to jail with Uncle Tom in this motherfucker. Now nah, he pulled me over a couple times. This yeah. nigga pulled my door open in the gas station. I bet he did. And he didn't do shit. I was blazing and everything. And he's just like, why your window so black? Like, nigga, this a work bin. I hate everything black. I hate the gums because they black. I hate <laughs> the shirt because it's too close to black. Nigga, I'm like, nigga, just chill. I hate the end of a movie because it's black. He didn't say shit. <laughs> he didn't say shit. Uncle Tom asked copper. Hey, but he actually kind of cool out of all the cops that I dealt with. Yeah, yeah. That's big ass. He's been out here for years. Today's Thursday, right? So, yeah, yeah, we definitely on uh, uh, can candy, uh, candy head days. Okay. It's on marble heads. Marble heads? Yeah, that's what today is. Today's Thursday, so it's definitely traffic day. Tuesdays and Thursdays. Tuesday is the scan unit and traffic, and Thursday is for sure traffic. All off of you. No way. Nothing excluded. No. Right that. This is the, the Crenshaw Mall right here. I know y'all heard about the Baldwin Hills get up. It's the Hopefully. Baldwin Hills Mall right here. Is that is that too many music movies that ever used the move on the mall or like really At least the front side, the, mall? the back side. Oh yeah, you talking about like uh, what's that? Boys in, Boys in the Hood, yeah. the Burger Stand, but you couldn't really see the mall. You only seen the senior right. section. All right, you only know it because you know it. This used to be M and M's right there. That beauty supply. That was M and M's for years. That shit is gone. You know why? They not cleaning up. Not just cleaning up, but they had uh, a lawsuit from a uh, uh, sexual harassment lawsuit against oh. the uh, manager and owner. The workers up in there. Too many big butts working there. Yeah, man. M and M booties. Yeah, you know, I don't hide, you can't hide a big button to smile. <laughs> Never hide a big button to smile, that girls. <laughs> yeah, man, but shit, I just been chilling, man. I just got finished doing with a client for uh, logo design. I just turned a couple of his positive party dresses in. Yeah, yeah man, I'm really just trying to get my thing going. And I had, I had a couple, I got into a couple of these little uh, far contracts, favor. Fiverr yeah, to yeah, make yeah. the logos. Yeah, you was telling me, sir. So and both cool. of them flopped. They just take it too long, so I just canceled the order. I told you, man. And then, um, right okay. here, right here. He cold buddy, y'all. He knows I do graphics. He can have a sit down. We can design exactly the way he wants to, but he wants to give the Indians a chance. I just he don't know. Blooded. You said sit down and talk. Yeah, about but then we can sit down and really talk about do you want it just to be a symbolism of just the S in a different color or fade. So, you know and saying? that's the thing, I don't know. Yeah. I just want to see it and be like, that's it. Okay, I understand me so, but you know, that's a kind of hard for a person to just give you a free that's yes. it or not that's it. And that's what I noticed. Yeah, that's that like, everybody is struggling with that. It's not even a struggle, it's just that if you're not there, let alone you're outsourcing, you know what I'm saying, for a commission piece of artwork, so they can't ask you no question. And every time they send you back a piece of work, no, don't tell them their but, frustration. But levels. I give them a summary of what I'm looking for. Yeah, but what is the summary? The summary is we strive. I give them the whole concept. I give them the whole idea, and they gotta run with it. Okay. Um, we're the white for sale. Oh shit! I don't know this joint. I know, huh? This is where I get the cookies. <laughs> But you ain't gonna get a better deal than moi. What's your deals? 35 for seven. What was that at? 35 for seven. <laughs> 35 for seven. You I showed you it last time. You wanted to come way over here. You wanted to come way over here. You know what's so funny? I don't even think we still have each other's number. We don't. <laughs> we don't. We'll we'll fix that. And right now, I'm getting all the scenery. I know, so I'm like, why is the uh, comment stop? Is it just because not, there's no Bitcoin after the Bitcoin comment? Nah, it's just only eight people. That's oh, bad. That's kind of long. That's cool. That's that's eight more people than that's here. All looking at King. We on King. You see King. King and Lamert. It's on our way into Lamert Park. We always got some type of freaking ambulance out crypto kenneth crypto ken you know that's me but um 
yeah, I'm really focusing on this restrive. I just barely start talking about it on Facebook because, you know, these fakes, fakes, fakes book, you know, that fakes book be so fake. You know, they'd say they're your friends, but they really not. They just people that they're your friends, but they, you know, friends from a distance. You see, I could post something on here and I'll get a response right away from all real people with real genuine answers and then I could post on Facebook and I get like a like or two or my mama like everything share it and then get all her friends to like it and then it looks like I got a gang of likes but it's actually none 7-elevens is deep over here just like in the land Facebook crap. Yeah, people still working, but Ken is my guy. Gotta show love. Hey, good looking. <laughs> You're at work showing love. Good looking. Look, we got a little. Somehow I lost the feed, but we back at this church. It's a church. This is one of our weed shops right here. I'll show you how it look. It looks just like a regular building. I guess they used to sell food in this motherfucker. But then you go around here, around the back way. And look, they got the little, this is the, the, the giveaway right here. I mean, that's the code word for weed. What's up? All right, all right. All right, y'all, don't worry. We on YouTube. So y'all brothers have a blessed day and a great day. Thank you for supplying us. <laughs> Damn, that girl got out the car you know naked in the motherfucker. No way. Yeah, her homegirl already up in there. <laughs> I hope I got that. That girl was freaking no naked. <laughs> nah, I don't got no business business card, but I need some footage. Footage of that I need some beautiful bees. These, <laughs> these cats want to see this shit. Hey, y'all want to see this? I'm gonna sit right here and wait. Damn, I can't do it. It's so hard to film. Hey, filming is one of the hardest things. Like you think you you think you could go live, but this shit is hard. It, it depends on what you're trying. You to know what stick, I'm saying? To stick in the camera in somebody's face. It's not even about it's sticking in the camera. That's her, um, That's not her home cook. Oh, it's yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got to Yeah, you know. Hey, don't be filming my girl, blood. Hey, nigga. Hey, hey. Hey, my bad. Hey, nigga. If you get paid off of that weed, you got 10%. Hey, what? Man, today, I'm just who banging? Oh, I want to talk to you. What you think about the YouTube headquarters shooting? Oh, that was a good one. I, I, before I had, when it happened, I literally knew it's somebody who's not getting paid <laughs> for <laughs> videos. Hey, they be taking down major uh, videos that I put up. Oh yeah, yeah, they've been trying to use UMG content and all that. I'm like, you talking about that little sound of the music in the background? The little they have channels that's literally dedicated to making a fake cover and playing <laughs> copyrighted material. All right, so right now we're about to. Okay. Okay, I gotta show you what I got for seven. I made for a thirty-five. So I went to the shop earlier in this little brown bag. Brown I got a sack for me and a sack for my Papa Joe. Yeah, what I got. On, the, on the Porsche. Yeah. Priscilla, Low John, James. Ooh. So, we got this. Check out the nuggetry on this. This is $35 for seven grams. This is the cheapest weed you ever gonna find that's bomb. You know, you could find weed cheaper that's I'll not the, as bomb. The judge Let them be the judge. Here, check out this density though. Look at this density. Oh, we missed her, missed Clyde. Her. We missed her. Is she by herself? Yes, she was. Yeah, I gotta run up on her. Already out of here. And her and her passenger side is in black position. 
definitely know she got a not too face. late. You should have just told me to hurry up. I seen it at the last He's second. Scared. Oh, scared. He said, You too late. She gone. She right behind us. Your feet wasn't working fast enough. I didn't scare. Nigga scared pussy. That nigga said, Am I my brother's keeper? No, nigga, I ain't getting you no cooch. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what's up? It says, Hell yeah, you make me want to smoke. LOL. I'm about to roll one up, not even playing. Hey, twisting it up right here. Buy like cookies. Okay, now this is his cookies he got. How much you pay for this? Um, I paid 30 for the eighth. 30 for the eighth. 30 is 3.5. It's almost double. A better, a better smoke double is good too. What you think? It's gonna smoke three quarter as good? No, it better smoke mick double. Double. Mick double. Oh man, this shit smells fire though. Uh, no right. <laughs> you wanna hang on? Yeah, put it hang on the car. <laughs> just put, it, put it in the hole of my nose. It's a potpourri. Diane Corns, what's happening? Okay, how you doing, D? Hey, oh she. Hey, Diane Corn, this is my boy Kenny. He from South Africa too. Where you from in South Africa? I'm originally from Johannesburg, raising Soweto. Soweto, you know about Soweto? Yeah. She out there right now. Oh. Where you at? Hey. Your last name? But uh, she's originally from Florida. Yeah, I, girl, my. Oh, I know Soweto. My bad. I was gonna hit you with so much language right now. I had to look at your last name. Like, oh no, she ain't gonna know nothing. I'm gonna say. Let me just start with the Zulu. Where All is right. that at? Johannesburg is the. Biggest. Oh, that's how you say Joe, Joe Berg is the nickname oh. for people who are in Joe Berg. I don't know Joe Berg. And you're really from Joe Berg is really Egoli, which is like Zulu for Johannesburg, Egoli. Well, you know, she with the uh she from America that moved to South Africa, so you know what she doing. I'm the opposite. You know what I'm saying? I'm from <laughs> South Africa, moved to America. So that means you ain't making no money in South Africa. The right Panther now. is here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he be knowing all the Lego about the Panther. I feel bad. I still ain't. Don't tell nobody. I still ain't seen it. You ain't missing, man. Man, I'm missing it's, a whole. No, lot. yeah, a whole movie was a was a was a South African fantasy world. <laughs> hey, hey, we need those fantasy worlds. Bro, the only I know is South African. Hey, is, and who else knows it was South African? Wait, he said, "Is that what's that burner, aka Cookie King?" No, no, we didn't get no burners. Um, 420 is coming up, but Burner has a shop in Long Beach now, so we're, I'm probably gonna do that. I don't know if Ken's gonna want to roll. Oh, he burn. know about that. Yeah, everybody know about Burner. If you're really a wee head, you've seen Burner videos of people, you know what I'm saying? Shout out Burner. Oh, I, I need to. I need yeah, to. Yeah, Burner's originally from the Bay. You feel me? But he's like basically like the like a weed kind of show, almost, almost like a weed uh, journalist. He has a YouTube channel, Vice Land, really be following him a lot. So, uh, Burner. Hey, uh, when I went Johnny. She said, Where's, uh, where are you from originally? Sawatu. He said he's from Sawatu originally. Sawatu, no? How you say it? Sawatu. So where to? Hey. So where? Run me up. I've never been involved. Look. What kind of friend do? No, Gia. Put Gia. N G I P H I L A. Gia Pila. I am well. Oh, that's what she's trying to say? Yeah, she's trying to sing. Oh, right? <laughs> hey, at least you're trying, though. I ain't mad at you. Some people go out there and be like, hey, it's a second language. I can speak English anywhere. Yeah, at least she, she working on it. That's what's up. Hey, most Americans don't even fucking try to speak another language, so she is Unless it's Espanol. Yeah, right. That's the furthest we go. And the third is the super language is Cantonese. Hey, that's the homie uh, Zeke right there. Zeke originally from L.A. He moved to... Uh, out to to the hills. What's the hills? Cause there's so many hills. In yeah, America. I forgot. Uh, Boise. He moved. To oh, you from the you in the uh, the blue state, huh? Yeah, man. The blue state. Hey, where he could pack his heat. He just worried about packing that heater. Oh yeah. You know, the American way. But probably Boise's uh, murder rate isn't at that level. Like, hey, get them guns off the street. Nah, because they're killing my kids and on the streets this, of Boise. This dude told me the best reaction to that he says it's safer out there because the criminals know the good guys have guns there you go out in la only the bad guys have guns 
Yeah, and the good guys have to go through a whole bunch of things where you have it locked under your car. Yep. And it has a lock on it. It's double lock. You have to have a lock case and you have to have a lock going through the trigger, <laughs> the trigger part. To where you dead if you ever need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You gotta, you gotta be a good actor. Like, all right, nigga, all right, I ain't gonna mess with you. All right, bro. All right, bro. All right, bro. And go in the car and lock shit. it. <laughs> and twist it open. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Man, you gotta see that shit coming a mile away to use it. Man, I had to put this phone down so I could twist this up. Hey, Diane, how long you been in South Africa? Her and her dude out there, they run a, 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 an equipment, heavy equipment oh, business. Yeah. I was thinking about one of those type of things, too, especially now there's a lot of industrialization going on in South Africa. And they just pulling minerals out the ground left and right. I would say the best place to try to deal with right now is the free state of uh, Lesotho. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to deal with nothing but such a small government, but they're really trying to develop themselves. And that would be a great thing for them. You know, large oh, industrial crane, cranks. Zeke said just, it's, a real, it's a red state. And Diane says she's been there two years. 90% of those shootings happen in gun-free zones. I'm not talking about as far as politics. I'm talking about as like Boise State, Blue whole field is blue oh. oh that's what he means so he talking about the college team colors boy no politics that's what that was oh we definitely know that's a red state <laughs> conservatism hey but uh so yeah i went out on facebook and i put uh you know i let a few friends what of mine know we live. Yeah, yeah, we stay alive. Yeah, yeah, we stay alive. I know too many people, man. Y'all be on that live. What's happening, man? I'm Ken. You gotta be. You gotta be on live, man. People just want to see what you're going because we're in a state where shit goes on so much. People will be like, what's going on there? What's that? What's the name they of that street? I'm real? trying to tell you something else. Instead, you try to ask me questions about where I'm it at. It was like, oh, I heard of Crenshaw. Oh, yeah. Oh. Is that just the movie? Like, yeah, you right on that street where they got shot at in the movie? <laughs> they see an know. alley. They, they be like, oh, that's where, uh, what's Boys the name? Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's like, where oh, the train got shot. That was the train <laughs> got shot in that alley right there. <laughs> I'm like, yep. Yeah, man, ain't nothing definitely. going on. Well, now we finna smoke and get back in the traffic. That's all. You was going back to Shells? Um, yeah, you already uh, know. Yeah. <laughs> right. What you doing over here? Shit. Post it. How old are you? 20. I'm 21. You look young. Time. You look young. The world is yours. Well, my nigga. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm doing this, uh, this nonprofit to help youngsters travel. Yeah. So my goal is to fund people like yourself from this inner city to get out and see the world for a yeah. hundred days. Well, that's solid. And man, your mind change, and when you come back, you're gonna be an entrepreneur. Well, me. For real. I, I, hey, here goes my number. If you send me a text, you know, I keep you in mind. Oh, what yeah. I what I want from you is to introduce you to my YouTube viewers. Yeah. And then that's where the money gonna come from. Well, me. The money gonna come from folks who meet you and be like, oh, we like this dude. We want him to win. Yeah. So I'm gonna be like, yo, YouTube. This is what's your name? Sekou. Sekou. I'm be like, yo, this is Sekou. He want to go. Oh, he ready. Then I'll be like, yo, here go I'm the... I'm too old to go. <laughs> here go the... Nah, he perfect age. No, I said I'm too old to oh, go. Oh, you? You got kids. Yeah. yeah. You know? <laughs> 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 Nigga, you bonded. <laughs> <laughs> but the idea is that you get out, you free your mind, and when you come back, your life is not the same no more. Yeah. This right here is you going to know what America is for, which is to get money. For me. Yeah, that's, that's, what it, that's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. That's what you're living for, to get money. Education guns and butter, baby. Yeah, guns. guns and butter. OB, that's all this is about. So that's the goal. Uh, right now, I'm in the in the visionary stage yeah. where I'm doing all the paperwork. Because to be a nonprofit, you got a gang of paperwork you got to do. So I'm fully involved in that shit just to make sure it happened. You know, the goal is to have my first person gone by by October. October. I met this brother so the other come day. Back by the beginning of the year to tell what happened. He was 24 Damn. years old, homeless. He come from the East Coast somewhere. Came out here. He's staying over there on Western and Slauson in a shelter. And I'm telling him this idea, and he's like, Nah, I can't. 
I'm busy here. I'm like, nigga, you homeless. Oh, at, at that church right there? That's I'm the not corner? sure. That's where, I think that's where it's at. Uh, that's where all the homeless people be at. Okay. Yeah, that's, yeah, he said he right there. I met him at the Starbucks across the street, and yeah. we was talking. And he's like, I'm like, bro, you at your rock bottom, and you turning this down? On me. But if you... This, <laughs> this dude sacrificed so much to get to L.A., he felt like this is where he wanted to be. He wanted to be a star. A star. This is his launching pad is what I called it. I'm like, oh, my bad, my bro. <laughs> to me, it looked like rock bottom. Yeah. But this is clearly your launching pad, right? He's like, yeah, this is where I want to be. La, la, la. I can't leave. This is. <laughs> you confused. Huh? Californians want to leave California. Yeah, I'm, right. I'm like, oh, this is the part of part of the problem of brainwashing me you know he feel like he in the best place in the world right now broke hungry working for cleaning up the street for a little money and i'm like bro there's so much more to this oh, but God. but the good thing is that he got goals yeah and when you think about it i'd rather fuck with a nigga with goals, goals with nothing. than nothing oh, you know walking around like hey. i'm At just trying to get goals. money I'm just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, OB, them type of niggas like, how you gonna get the money? You I don't know. I don't know. Just get it. Yeah. Well, this <laughs> just get it. Exactly. If these go my way, it's gonna be a hundred percent funded. On me. Where you backpack every day. You don't stay in hotels. You don't stay in like nah. nice facilities. You gonna go to like hostel, to village, to towns. And I did it before like for two months. Like the ghetto Airbnb. We got old Airbnb, oh, but it's fun. fun. You yeah. meet so many people and being experience a lot of shit. And being black, yeah. motherfuckers treat you like a human being versus like a black man. <laughs> what? I kid you <laughs> not. Explain that brother. difference. I kid you not. Freaking everybody respects you. They not hiding they shit. They not crossing the street when you walking by. They not tucking their purse. They not. They not fearing nothing. It's all smiles. It's all smiles. I mean, they freaking love us around the world. It's That's just solid, though. come to Colorado, try the weed. These white boys here, <laughs> stiff. I'm talking sticky. And oh, yeah, we definitely know about the Colorado strain. Everybody yeah. is yeah, on it. Try the Spread weed the word, there. Ken. You got to make my support, of course. You got some fire. I'm funding you with oh, yeah. Ethereum. Oh, yeah. I don't know about that. No, California is almost like... Scientists, why hey, Colorado <laughs> has so much land they use. Hey, see, look, read that right there. This brother right here is already saying, Yeah, spread the word. I'm sponsoring you, I'm funding you with cryptocurrency. What do you mean? So the money is going to 110. If you can go live, an hour, the whole time, an hour worth of uh, editable video every day for 110 for 110. It, so it's probably more than that. That's what I said. I said, hour of editable video because you want when you put something on YouTube, you want it to be, you know, what I'm saying, content clean. manageable. Yeah, clean, clean. But you know what it is? It's that it don't even have to be clean, it, it can be just raw. That's for mm -hmm. us. You may want to do that for the website, you feel me, or a DVD series about the, um, the traveling. It gets better. Wait, I'm so glad I didn't get involved in proofing weekends. Yep. <coughs> what happened? That shit crashed already? <coughs> How many people you be having viewing? <coughs> All day. He's got All day. He got, got over 30 subscribers. In a month. But I haven't been trying to reach new subscribers because I got such it's a not, quality what, subscription what going. What the issue I believe, believe Ken has on his playlist is one video, I guess it's when a, a bong fail, it's his biggest video, and I literally yeah. sit there and I'm like, how did you get over 250,000 views out know. of that jug? It just And we went. still I mean, don't, we, why we can't get them people over to see what else you had coming up? You know, because those uh, is those fly by nights. Those That's a different type yeah, of crowd, yeah, too. Went viral. That's not a passionate viewer that's just like a like a laughing video that you just yeah, flip yeah, through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know the, the the bitcoin viewers are more like passionate you know because to, that's dealing with finances people are very very passionate about their money and black folks too oh yeah especially that if once if, if once black folks get into stocks and they conscious then a motherfucker yeah so. i was just talking to my other uh we partner he literally has the every last he's been buying into coins for over since the, um bitcoin was over was um five dollars I don't, I don't, I don't know what the prices was <coughs> back then. But when I got in, Bitcoin was a, over. It was seventeen hundred dollars. Yeah, he was way before that. He deals with um, Santa Barbara people. 
feel me? Popular Silicon right area, all that area. Probably we turn one and three of them into five. Oh, that, that proof of weak hands is popping. Well, I haven't got into it. I know it's a Ponzi. That shit is clearly another Ponzi. And I just kind of staying away from Ponzi's right now while I'm working on this uh, on this We Strive. Hey, hey, the biggest Ponzi scheme is the NASDAQ and let it be that. <laughs> okay? Everything else is just inflation. Hoping that more contributors are, are supplementing the income of everybody gaining. That's still not possible. So, it, you know, it, it, the good thing is I've seen a video on that uh, proof of weekends and motherfuckers is real about it. Damn, I forgot to put the fucking, um, I have, um, at the gas station? No. Um, this nigga rolling up what? What? A Bar back, two leaf. It must not be that good if it's not in that backwood. <laughs> That's what that is? Yeah. This, this is not a backwood. Well, he knows what I mean, precisely by the name. This is a leaf. This dude be on them leafies, nigga, from the islands. His album was actually good. I actually liked the whole project. It was good. I'm Who? trying to see what's up oh, with Dex. Trying to see what's up with Dex album tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. See how that goes. You in school right now? Nah. Nah. Why not? School is not for me, to be honest. I'm the type of person that just be straight to the money. I hear you. I'm uh, trying to get to the money, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get that money. Let, let me tell you this. <laughs> now, I used to be the same way. You know, I'm 38. Yeah. All right, so I used to be the same way, nigga. I didn't graduate <laughs> high school on I time. I graduated. See, that's what's up. Yeah. But that's good. I went to San Diego, and everybody's on that slow boat. Slow, yeah. Going to school. There's nothing else to do, right? So I got lucky that way. Oh, my God. But then, to I know she ain't supposed to talk to nobody. <laughs> she can't. And she, she, she her man got, got that no Ike Turner. <laughs> She'll be in a car if she talks to somebody. <laughs> Ooh. All right, but, uh, so then I was like, I came back out here. I was like, oh, I got to try to get youngsters to go to school. Yeah. You know, because I feel like that increases your chances of being well off in the long run. Yeah. Early, you get, your opens your mind to influences at an early age so you that can too. see yourself doing more than what you can do here. Oh, that yeah. too. So then I was like, you know, that's not working. It's that put myself in your situation and somebody said, you gotta go to school. It just doesn't work here in LA. But I came up with the idea is once you get out the country for a long period of time and you get used to that slow pace yeah. and you get used to being basically like broke. So it's like that materialism in your mind just goes away. Yeah. And if you can get food and a place to sleep and some decent clothes, it's all about taking advantage of what America, yeah, America yeah. has to offer. Because remember, people come from all over the world to take advantage of America's resources. I and love this country! The, <laughs> the only resource that this motherfucker is pumping out that benefit us is that damn degree. And yeah. then with that degree, we and can go porn. anywhere. Porn? And porn. Porn is, it got so many amateur hosts. You know, yeah. porn be coming up in my videos uh, all the time. <laughs> These niggas over here be slapping the monkey while they watching Four me. Four billion. I told them, hey, you can't be watching me and slapping the monkey. No! <laughs> Put it back in his cage like a grizzly keeper. <laughs> 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 but so this 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 whole idea is an experiment, right? Mm -hmm. It's not for sure that it's a pilot program. Yes, and but through this experience, I'm willing to put my whole reputation on the line that you gonna come back killing the game. I <coughs> mean, killing the game, homie. You gonna be like, man, this is my life. I'm grabbing this bitch by the horns. I'm. Government gave you free money to go to school. Yeah, you know what do. I'm saying? So how you not going to turn, how you going to turn down that free money? You can't turn down free money to go around a gang of bitches Hell to yeah, slap you can. books. Yeah, you can, man. Them lines be too long, man. They paperwork be nah, too that hard. that all over they line. Paperwork. It's so easy. <laughs> That's a lot of excuses you're going to nah, hear. Yeah. Excuses, though. Excuses. excuses nah, though. And I say, you know, once in truth, I give you that. But once you go through the world and having to survive and having to read a map and having to try to communicate with other people. You say we have to Google that shit. Nigga, you will be 
a leader in accomplishing task. So let's say filling out the application is a task. You will grab that task by the horns and line by line. By the horns or the horns? Both. <laughs> it's not like one you said at both. a time. It's not like you said one both. at a time. By the horns. You, like you the might horns. you might go on the computer and get started, but then get distracted by Miss Corns and then wanna and then come back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can't oh, yeah. talk about a nonprofit and then be sponsored by Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could. Why not? That's one good thing about this is you, I can take sponsors from anybody. As soon as this paperwork is done, I'm throwing my flag in there like, give me this, give me that. Hold on, hold on. Let me read some some comments. You guys see big dog? Yeah. I even uh, made a video the other day saying I stay I away. Now these dads are just getting taken a piss. Yeah. I think I've seen that yeah. when you said it too. That video. I ain't got new number. Most, same most shady business model. Barely anyone now. knows code. Yeah, so that right. smart contract <laughs> can be a trap. I'm just saying be careful. I'd rather pay scratchers than join. You know what? I'm not in proof of weekends. I kind of... Like going against all, all schemes. I lost too much time on that shit. So There's a reason why they call done. it a scheme. There what is no end result guess? of longevity. Hey, uh, Tony, what's cracking, dog? This is Ken too. Ken and Ken. I'm feeling the crypto love right <laughs> now, but don't listen to me. It could be a trap, but I got my money out. Hey, we all got our money out in different things. It's just that, you know... Hopefully it could stay around for a long time. I think these schemes are just going down so quick It's a good chance you will not get your money back Crypto to me is just crazy because it's influ influenced by a world perspective and a world market So let a let a demograph or let a group of people in a country say they're not messing with it in their market and it fluctuates by large numbers It could be a country that's not even 10% of the world. They say no Over 30% of the market drops on Bitcoin like Korea that's what, that's, my, that's what I'm using as an example. You feel me? Without saying the name, just to let South, people know by size Korea. and influence. But not have an influence as far as the world. Yeah, that shit is crazy. And, you know, and, that's, and I try not to even read deep into that. Because really, that shit you, could be I, so stressful. I, I have to ask you this question. Do you truly believe that the world operating bodies are going to allow un registered and untaxed money to keep being allocated across their constructed infrastructures of the internet and also their uh, their 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 communities damn look my man said that he lost 27k in divorce man you making my 10 look like there people, out, there's people out there that just dry just 100k dry Real 150k dry off of bitcoin i love la young dre the truth who's young dre a rapper, right? Yeah, you said Young Dre. Dre or Trey? You talking about Trey young, the Truth? It's but that's a DRE. A I don't know what Trey. I don't know what Dre. I know what Trey the Truth is. Oh, uh, he probably it. trying to say Trey and it oh, auto corrected him. Oh, was it you? Nah, it's right here. I or is it him? Like that's his nickname. Dre, DRE. He might be trying to say Trey Ivan. I'm not even sure. I don't know. I don't sure. remember All Ivan. Right. Get back to us on that. Yeah, but Nick, you gonna start your own page? You should do that right now. And just start blogging yo what you think is your boring ass life because what's on instagram <laughs> no i'm instagram i have a page too go subscribe I, I to mine's killer go in one word k-i-l-l-a go in one word yeah type your shit. yeah <laughs> you can type your shit? Yeah, yeah. see i'm learning so new right shit right every day i don't even go into studio that much well, maybe not on this yeah mobile not app. On there, yeah i don't think that's at home no not on this mobile yeah, app yeah. Can't get answer to the key. Zeke, 94% of our coins are going to fail. Hey, my man Zeke know what he's talking about. Um 95% might be a little high. <laughs> I was saying 50, but ever since like um fine coin went down, FI coin, I believe 95 could be a little more accurate. We got so many damn names for these coins now. <laughs> Thousands of coins. It's, 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 it's like ridiculous. It's Thousands stupid. of coins valued for anywhere from but most, mid high five. But to most importantly, low the community sense. got bread. Yeah, yeah. There's still forms of levels so, of people gaining money and penny snatching and putting into their accounts. Oh, God. But where I'm getting front to is that all I got to do 
is introduce them to your page. Be like, yo. Oh, Reef. Shout out. Peep, peep, the, peep the love. Peep the, peep the, the energy. Because it's all about energy. Yeah. And motherfuckers want to see us win. You know, they want to see that that slumdog millionaire. I mean, they do. They want to see that slumdog. And then people are willing to watch over a period of time. Like, it can take you a couple years to show the, 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 um, the uh, uh, outcome of the trip. I'm good. Money comes and goes. Relationships are more viable. That's why I fuck with Ken. Hey, Corey, that's heartfelt, bro. That shit strikes deep. And that's what gives me the confidence that this is going to work. Because <laughs> to be real, like I say all the time, without y'all, I do not feel like this will work. Did you see what Diane said as far as talking about Ivan? Say, Ivan is a tech. He teaches you how to look at code and see if it's a scam. You have to explain that to me oh, in coding. Oh, because what she's saying is that this dude, oh, this dude, Ivan. Oh, Ivan that talks about freaking weekends. 40 coins just got kicked off a of coin market cap. Like they should. I hope I don't have none of those. You better check. Ivan has a good channel, but it's hard to get over the accent sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, see, this is a whole community. It's so much to learn from this shit. And I have to be like, that. I to be like, how do people complain about a person's accent? Because <laughs> he can't understand it. Not, <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather him talking his regular dialect? If you enjoy his videos, it's like, ouch. Hey, that's the homie make money. Hey, what's cracking, dog? I ain't heard from you in a minute. He got a uh, SEO company up north. Ivan... Ivan Otek is his name, the Swedish guy. I don't mind his accent. Yeah, you right. probably love it. She's like, talk to me more. He's like, it's good. The Bitcoin is dropping massively right now. If you do not pay attention to the Bitcoin, it'll kill you, my friend. He got the Swedest accent. Oh, he's Swedish. Yeah, that might be kind of. A little bit more happier. Yeah, a little bit more happier. <laughs> I never heard of Ivan Swedish though. That's kind of interesting. More definitely Russian or, or middle, um, but middle Swedish European. people don't they got Russian Swedish people? No, that makes no sense. I think so. I haven't told them that makes no sense. I Russian Swedish people, hey, but I don't know. That's why I learned that's why I want to do this foundation so I can travel the world more. Aha, uh -huh, it's a ploy for him to travel. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is. It is. This shit is gonna give me a reason to go travel the world three times, four times a year. You what, B? I hear you was tested the hackathon, so only time to tell. I'm sending huh? Ken three P3W tokens. Come out the cut, nigga. Niggas trying if to If it's around May, June, Get let's see. Hood. Screenshot me. What up? Let's see. Screenshot me. You want some low shit? Hey, man. Oh, yeah, you're I low. Appreciate Just call me back, that. bro, after you done smoking your city. And, uh... The good thing is 100% <laughs> of all proceeds is going to the cause. 100%. No operation cost is being sought after until after the first year. I'm Hackers is not the same as just looking at the code. I'm seeing if it's written with fundamental flaws. Yeah, she's taking it deep. Real shit. Hey, they trying to, uh, that spell check got you a few times, I see. The creator said it was tested, created by BitConnect. Also said that they had a trading bot. Yeah, I heard that we shit. We ain't trusting BitConnect. Everybody and their grandma, you ain't even got to have a coin not to, know not to trust BitConnect. And they describing this as a BitConnect on the blockchain. I mean, BitConnect was on the blockchain too, but Sheep. this is more <laughs> uh, verified through the blockchain. Blockchain is the technology mm -hmm. of, of the Bitcoins that it run on. And this is going to be new technology for the future. So it's vital that you start yeah, to at least I'm, pick off information. I'm telling you. That's queen right there. Government regulations are going to come. It has to. It's going to come, but it's going to be You better get it in now, then. You better get it in now. That's the homegirl queen. What up, queen? I keep thinking FCC. Really? FTC ain't going No, for Corey. Nobody can see this. It's flawed. You don't have to put it through hackathon. 
laughing my ass off. Queen in the house. Queen's the homie. She's like, so there's a few females that's actually like riding for the idea. And it's just like, <laughs> I get a bunch of like, we, we came up with the name. It's called We Strive. Strive means simple traveling, rapidly increased visions and education. So we came up with this just by me sitting here bouncing ideas. They throw them back and I just write the shit down <laughs> and just go with it, go with it, go with it. But all crypto is speculation. Only no real world uses it yet. Yeah. Okay. Hey, bro, be careful and don't hang out with any white people when you go back to school because all the school shootings lately are targeting black people. And I care about the White Lives Matter movement. <laughs> Once in a while, I get weirdos jumping on, spinning, saying things. But white lives do matter. But right now, we on the Black Lives Matter. But it's almost like all of a sudden, I realize the fact that that's white on white violence is going on too. <laughs> More. Yeah, it's white on white violence in the real core sense now. I'm going to subscribe to you, Diane. I'll hit hey, you man, up. Hey, Diane is a good oh, person to subscribe to. She comes out with good content three, four times a week. She be on it. Okay, if this is the logo I, I designed for We Strive. Let me know what y'all think about it. It, can't have, it keeps saying it's a little too cartoony, but hey. I, I'll, I'll use it, you know, because I ain't got nothing else. I don't like the font. That's one thing I don't like. But he did it by himself, so. And... I don't, I don't have a problem with it. I just would like to have five, six logos. No, to that's not. From. I mean, what? Okay, to choose from. Okay, we can do that, but you have to pay for some type of form of that. Right. If I was to do that without like charging the full price of a finalized logo, I'll give you four shots at fifty bucks, ten a piece. We, we work at. We could work together. Damn, it's Islanders. I swear to you, it's like. Once they hear your price, they think about a lower price. <laughs> that's that's a, that's how everybody think. Make the water darker blue. Yeah, we said that. That's a good yeah. And Might then as well just make that into some like clothing or something. Right that'll, there. That'll keep you wet. Man, it, to <laughs> to get more money, there's many ways to make money off of this shit. Yeah. You know, it don't stop, but. Right now, my priorities is more into uh, uh, getting the paperwork right mm -hmm. and getting the first person on there. And then I feel like the money will come after that. I'll send you some ether, Ken. Hey, I appreciate that, Corey. Uh, as soon as this article is finished, so right now to bring you all to date, I got the article of incorporation being done by LegalZoom. I need three board members and then once I choose these three board members and I man I posted it on Facebook for the first time and I got a gang of like real homies to come through finally and that's what I started to tell y'all about one of my boys is going to MIT he's mm -hmm. working on his PhD Boston huh and he's from LA and yeah. he went to community college he graduated yeah, late doesn't matter. he got but he don't got that token student yeah, that resume matter. that you see everybody in Harvard and yeah. MIT have. It doesn't matter. He's not rich. <laughs> that doesn't matter. He ain't Banks. One thing about MIT, one thing about MIT, they're really based themselves on your uh, IQ level. Your IQ, not even your achievements back then, but just your IQ level as you've grown through the levels of, you know what I'm saying, your high school and into them. That's all they really care about because after that, you got to prove to show that you have ingenuity in MIT. Yeah, 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 because before that, you don't get a chance to show ingenuity. You don't get a chance to show ingenuity. You show that you have to go through process of showing your smartness through curriculum. Right. Once you get in MIT, it's all about ingenuity through what you already know through your curriculum. See if you can build the robot running out from the circuitry you know. So make those fundamental basics work. Well, this dude is doing big things. And yeah, then, I can't even. I got too much going on. I got. I have a couple of uh, female friends from junior high school that reached out to me who's who's interested. God and, dang. Hey, these chicks is on the game, no, too. No, I'm just wondering how you still have friends from junior high. 
nigga, because I, my best I friend's keep, the only one. I keep touch with everybody I meet, you know, because it's like it's good energy. How you gonna lose touch with, you know, just because you don't see them? They got a family and wah da da. They got the platforms to where you can keep touch with these folks. Yeah. Her name is Starlene. She's uh, actually from, um, you know, all the time you meet black people that work hard, they not from here. Yeah. Like for example. <laughs> people at That's home. not stereotype. Don't let them paint that as a stereotype. <laughs> no, you yeah. see? You see? Don't Every let time that. I meet a brother in LA that do construction work is not from LA. My partner does the construction, he's a journeyman. Yeah, you gonna find a few. But it ain't it you, I'm gonna find but you ten Mexicans but don't, to but outdo but, it. But that's, not, <laughs> but that's not a factor. Them also being the foreman, the Latinos get to a point where they're foreman, and now they're holding the jobs for their kind to come in and get learned. Big time. I don't get mad at it. I don't get mad because it's not my field. You feel me? I don't get mad at it because we can still work hard and earn those jobs. Yeah. If we choose to. Yeah. But most of us do not choose to. Oh, yeah, yeah. I had to tell people, hey, I work harder than a Mexican. Hire me. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Harder than two Jamaicans. I, I work harder than these cats. Don't Anywhere, worry, I'll get it done. Other, you're naming other places besides here. <laughs> yeah, I, I had to show up on my on my essay partners to show, hey, look, I got the labor to do it, and then they're like, okay, we yeah, believe yeah, you yeah, now, yeah, <laughs> because yeah, if it was yeah, just yeah. you, my nigga, yeah, no, no, you no, ain't no, gonna you, do you try, shit. You gotta get this one big check <laughs> and bounce and bounce. That's exactly <laughs> what they think. Don't forget to like. <laughs> basic business course at MIT online for free open courseware hey that's tight logo looks nice it's a start hey Queen said the logo looks nice damn I just got a text message I need to freaking relook at I'm in New Jersey people work hard around the world you know LA is a different mentality <laughs> out here in LA people fall victim to the to the Jordans <laughs> no, uh, Jordan's haven't even been selling out for the last year and a half. Because they dropping so many at a time. They're just ugly colorways. They dropping them like three times a month, four times a month. No, that's now. been happening for the last ten years. But the colorways are not. Years, the colorway no is not original to anything he's walked on the floor. You get that probably like twice a year. Shoes that he's worn. I don't even like to get into that Jordan bullshit because it Somebody is. Somebody just went to jail that um, was selling uh, <laughs> was selling over millions of dollars of uh, counterfeit Jordans. Nike and the Feds got together. And, downtown. Um, I don't know if he's downtown. They just gave him. Oh, Melrose. Name. Whatever the guy's name is. I think I seen one on Melrose, but he was selling everything. Flight Club is on Melrose, but they're official reseller. Like, yeah. Man, this shit is fucking hard as hell to roll. Oh, and it's a more look in it. It's not your back this. I know. But even when it... Was it hard to roll? Or you didn't roll it? I rolled it. Jesus. You rolled these before, right? Hell no. This shit do not them. stick. Mm -hmm. This do you not. You gotta pay tons of spit on that shit. Oh, and it still it's don't. Still <laughs> you, gotta, <laughs> you gotta hold, hold it the it. whole way. It did <laughs> you gotta be a master. You gotta have that freaking Jamaican your spit. No, <laughs> your huh? yeah, now I watch a master at work. Jamaican. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm close to NYC, the hustle state. Ugh. Reply. Hell no. Reply on the. On no, the I don't want to talk to her. Oh, I thought you told me that was the message you wanted to talk to. Not that one. I'll just show you how you can do all this. Overpower Damn. Back. But, uh, shit, hey, I'm going to take one more ride. I got to shoot back to, to the house. <laughs> All type of bullshit. <laughs> right. You working here? Thing. Hell no. Yeah, nah, he working here. I just come in here, like, almost Probably every 20 to yeah. 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, that nigga got to get high. Yeah. <laughs> to deal with this shit. Hey, when you travel, you don't even want to smoke. Yeah. And you don't because... I mean, you do, but it ain't like man though. Yeah, man. It's like if it come, you're like, all right, let me oh, hit yeah, that shit. TSA better than extra pat me. <laughs> you don't want right, to let them. Hey, holler it up. All right, so we gonna run. Hey, that's that's high yeah. potential right there. My day is actually over. I just gotta go to Inglewood and get blank. Where you going? I gotta go to Inglewood and any form of chance. Where you want me to drop you off? At? I ain't going to Inglewood. All right. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, you can take it back to the gas station. I can find some money here, Ryan. Are you really trying to get to Inglewood? Right I got to go to Brandon Centinella. Oh, 
man, I gotta go. I got some paperwork. I just got a text from the office. I can't. That's why I get blank CDs. You know, I got to go. What's that like? Fifty cents or something? Five dollars for a fifty pack. Damn. Man, so that concludes our little weed expedition. We went on a smoke session. Man, this day, this day is just getting ate up. 159 live. Uchi Uchi was good. Man, I can pay attention now a little better. But uh, now that you have sight beyond sight, <laughs> yeah, I just my mind is going because I just got so much I'm supposed to be doing all of a sudden. What are you doing, man? I gotta do that. I still gotta run back and do uh, finish up on the logos. I got so much graphic artwork. Man, I I need to put something up. So I think if you could uh. I told you even about your YouTube channel. It Asher has a bone friend, drive. Why when I got to South Africa, people tried to tell me that their stay before is meal pop. I'm like, you mean grits? No, basically it's you call it grits, but it's maize. Maize is almost like uh, white corn, white corn. So that's why it's the difference between what you get here in the U.S. from what you made cornbread and anything from. You hear that? It's maize meal. You have to go to specialty stores here to get it from African stores or Asian uh, stores because that, that's just what it is. It's just a different grain, that's all. White corn is grits? No, it's maize. It's uh, mealy pop. Laughing my ass off. Oh shit. Oh shit, it's grits, bro? No, I'm kidding. No, she's like, no, that shit is grits, bro. Of course you would think it's grits because that's what they could introduce here, but where we're at, we don't call it grits, it's pop. <laughs> Cream of wheat? No, nah, come on, man. That's not, that's not even terrible. That's like, I guess you said the looseness, Every the, it's different versions, like ice is water frozen, I guess. <laughs> pop is, is grits loose. She don't talk to nobody. Yeah, I see. She walked a whole long distance to get to where she's going. She made it too safely. She, she probably went all the way to Crenshaw. What's over there on Crenshaw's store? Right here in the corner. She probably went to the smoke shop and walked all the way. She walked a whole mile, literally. Yellow grits. Shaking my head. Shaking my head. Have you ever heard of American grits? For me? Yeah. I've been here. So I, I guess had grits answer. with eggs, grits with shrimp. I had grits in every form. The southern form, the regular western form, which is just eggs over it. With Jimmy, with, with Farmer John sausages. That's the classic American play, true. Farmer John sausages and grits. He said he had not heard. Oh, she said had not heard. Heck no! Why would they have? Why would South Africans have heard of something they already have? <laughs> I'm confused on the whole grits conversation. Yeah, why? Why we don't call it grits if that's what you, American um, Africans in America? Know it as oh, okay, cause we 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 know everything as whatever is labeled as in English and whatever we've been taught. Yeah, we know nothing about our ancestry. And and, and then we've been calling it maize longer than it was called grits. So maize pop is long is a name that's long older than grits. <laughs> what is it called? Pop. Yeah, P A P. It's, oh, that name is older than grits. So you just call it pop? Yeah. Maize. Pop. Maize mill in South Africa is over 300 years old as a tradition. It's, 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 it's South African rice. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure it's the same thing. Yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah. She said, not her. You just don't walk in here talking about with some grits. But you, it's kind of weird when you see grits with, with, um, with beef and gravy. <laughs> 
Where's that in South Africa? That's what you, yeah. Papa's not Papa's not. It's not a sweet dish. Papa's not made with anything else. It's either with chakalaka or chutney or uh, a gravy. It's it's also a tradition for about three hundred years in the U.S. Slaves ate it. Slaves and nine birds in the house. Sure, slaves ate anything they gave. And was it grits? Grits is something that has to be manufactured and processed. Oh. Yeah. Diane, he said that slaves didn't. Yeah, why grits. You, I didn't want to say it like it was because just... it takes too much work to prepare grits. grits. Why would they even spend any time to prepare something for a slave? To prepare something for a slave, which makes sense. If it wasn't. Picked up off the floor. <laughs> they didn't get it. Yeah, they had a fucked up life in America. Probably the slaves in Africa ate grits because. And back, and back then, corn wasn't such an agricultural growth as it is now in America's uh, Midwest. Back then, it was mostly it had to be brought over closer from South America or from wherever it was grown. But it wasn't as big as it is now. No, you can grind it up shaking my head industrialization made it easier for mass produce but if it's 300 years old in africa how is it how is it not is homeless problem really bad in california uh i would say it's bad because people from all over the country come here to be we're dreams we're dreams of being up here that get extinguished real quick yeah yeah. You know, everybody want to be a star. Everybody want to come out here like John Travolta and make it, be homeless, and hit it over the head. A, a lot of celebrities came out here and did it that way, but it's really tough. It says on Wikipedia, I don't take it as uh, after you don't say word for word. Grits is an American Indian origin and is similar to other thick maize based porridges from around the world, such as polenta and of course mealy pop. The world the word grits derives from the old English word grit, meaning coarse meal. Origin is Huh. It says right here officially, it was introduced by the Native Americans in the 16th century in the U.S. So they had a form of uh, maize meal while it was here. Yeah, this lady is here every day. What's her name, Ken? I don't know her name. She just, you know, she's really that. You don't know her name. name. She's mentally that enough. She, yeah, but you her, see her every day. Ken, if you ask her, she is literally the queen of England. <laughs> she going to start screaming at you? you. Yeah, she <laughs> argue about you being the queen of England and off with your head. <laughs> No, I uh, know. I'm laughing because I know that shit is true. I know. I'm like, <laughs> I can't lie because I know it's true. <laughs> it's like I can't lie because I feel sorry for. Us. All right, man. I'm out the vid. You guys have a blessed day and a great day. Hey. Subscribe to my channel. Killer go in. K I L L A G O I N. Killer go in. She said nice meeting you. Of too. course, of course. Salagathe. Salagathe. That's tight. That's tight. All right, Ken, much love. I'll yeah, catch man. up with you. Yeah. Oh, what's up with that? Uh, that 73 only got like 20 songs on there. That's how many CDs go on? How many songs go on a CD? And you need to make me a digital. You mean an MP3, but your dad's don't read. Nah, MP3. I play. They play okay. MP3. You then don't you got me for that CD while you ask me questions they about got... it. <laughs> Yeah. I'm fucking with you. Then you owe me some. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I only got one, not two. I know I gotta make 73, but I don't get blanks what to you? go get it. That's what you see how you see how I can't go up there right now. I got I gotta go. It's over less here. than 15 minutes on yeah, the on the La, La Brea fast ramp. The office we is calling. We actually been me. already there by then. My office is calling me. Like calling you about yourself. Nah, for real. I got a secretary. <laughs> They're sending me out on calls. I just can't text them because I'm on this shit. But I'm yeah. going right there. Hey, right, <laughs> much love, right, bro. Got to go. Hey, Diane said, take him. Oh. Johnny, I got to go. I got to go. I can't be driving all the way to Inglewood. Come on. All this traffic out here on these streets. Look at that. Traffic cold.
I ain't got time for no Inglewood. Hey, but that's Ken. Man, he be running this. He be holding down the gas station, hustling, selling CDs, whatever you need. But uh, yeah, he one of the few hustlers left out here. One of the few hustlers left. Just ask him for a gas fade. Man, I don't got time. You know people will call and report you. Shoot, they don't stop reporting on me. Nah, they actually stopped. I think that was just for that one video. It was the smoking in the van. And then I said that I had a couple brewskis. So they was commenting on that. He's smoking in a company van. My van. Shut up. People still say, man, it's not that popular, but this dude do it to make money, you know. I don't know. I'm sure he do okay because he out there so much. Always grab a couple CDs from him. So he usually shoot me two CDs for five dollars. Uh, there you go right there. I have three businesses. LOL. That nigga jumped online. That's Ken Killer Gone right there. That's Ken. Yeah. Hey, post up your oh I guess you can see his username right there. Hey, he be every time I go to Starbucks, I see him up in there too. They be holding down the hood. Man, that's why we need to open up the um, coffee shop over there on Crenshaw. You see, before I wanted to do a coffee shop. Yeah, that's where he do his graphics right there. His little office. Right, I hear you. Um, it ain't, it ain't that many. Everybody's on that digital. Everybody's on that internet radio, on that Pandora. This is my street right here. You guys know where I'm at. Yeah, yeah. He pitched that ATM maintenance service to me. That sound like a good idea. All the ATMs need maintenance. They need to be restocked. Man, that's where I need to be at. Right there. Right there. Man, I had some uh, some tax issues this year or last year for my employee tax. But that's bad. Hey, Bill. <laughs> All right. Good. I'm good. Thank you. She's so nice. I forgot to make my turn. She's so nice. All right. It's my neighbors right there. Shit, that's my dad's ride right there. He just says pimp ride. He ain't even come and wash it. He's supposed to come wash it. He didn't do nothing. Alright, I gotta go talk to this dude. Cadillac King, yeah. I don't drive that thing. They be calling me a pimp if I drove that mug. Nobody here. Coffee still warm? No, I didn't warm at all. Killer is the clothing line to start up or are you past that phase yet?
here. Hey. I had to go through some. Uh, uh, Tony's gone. Collard greens. Man, I need to te check a text right quick. <laughs> he said he had to go watch a Diane video. <laughs> I bet you did. He got stuck, too. He was gone for a minute. for a second man I gotta make some phone calls see Ken getting me caught up people mad at me now cause I'm slacking need to be knocking this out need to be knocking that out I ain't knocking nothing out <laughs> live live baby hey do that too I'm about to tech my cords out right now. My channel's coming soon. Thanks for the inspiration. Hey, you better. You better. It ain't. I think at the end of the day, Corey, uh, making your channel is a good documentation of your life. Like, for example, I know in a couple years, I'm going to be able to look back and be like, this is where all the thinking happen right here and I can just go back to a point in time in the videos where I can say hey this is when this happened this is when I decided on this and you were supposed to then make a banner yeah I need a banner you already know that you see my my page is naked No, we need a thousand. Or you never lie. Hey, make money. You got the uh, SEO company, right? Right, so um, I'm I'm working on. Uh, do you make websites too? Because most people who be in SEOs make. No, nah, I wouldn't say most people, but they kind of know somebody. You do. All right. I'm gonna need a website. ASAP. Um. I don't know how I want it to look. I don't know what the layout is, but. You do. Well. We will make it then. Let's see it. Pitch it. He can do everything. He got 10 job man. He's the he's the room cleaner, the salt shaker, the maid, the janitor. He got 10 job member from the living color. 10 job. Man, I need to make a phone call. Hold on one second. I need to make to use chairs. Candace. I need to call this freaking customer here. Look at my boy's inspiration art. Three of mine.
dream big. The heart knows. Can't dream big when you're down, bro. You gotta be standing up to dream big. Oh man, it's so nice out here today. I, I had a good time over there with Ken. I met the little young homie. I forgot his name. Um, it, was, it was just a nice, nice little experience today. I had a lot of fun. Good looking out, Ken. Let me roll with you. Hey, my bad. I couldn't take you to Inglewood. Can't go out there. I got to do this paperwork over here. I'm going to make this phone call. And then I got to run over and do some more paperwork right here. And then uh, I'll be able to do some Caesar. A little Caesar in this mug. Hey, this turned out to be a nice little uh, get down. YouTube getting shot up shook me i left 40 minutes away so it's close to home shook you oh yeah that's right you up north huh hey do you got kids my boy just um <coughs> I'm not sure on the terminology, but he's kind of STO my my uh, my page, and he sent like a gang of traffic over to my page so that way it could rank higher in organic searches. So like on the regular, I get like somewhere between three and ten hits per day, but. Uh, after he shot the traffic over, I guess it's like computers clicking on the on the page or whatever. But um, now I'm getting about uh, 2,000, 2,000 hits per day. So that's going to shoot my organic search or my organic visibility up to hopefully the first page. So that's how that work, right? Make money. I got one email to send. Sorry to hear that. You are putting descriptions and tags in your metadata. I haven't. Well, it's not for this YouTube page, it's for a business page that I have. So, it's not for this. But I just wanted to make sure the terminology is right. My bad, I had to take a phone call. Okay, so what I was saying was, one of my boys, um, I guess he SEO my my actually my Yelp page he added views to my page which made it um, rank higher in the organic searches one thing about LA is such a competitive market there's like thousands of air conditioning companies out here so in order to compete with them gotta do some fancy freaking internet SEO work so you do that as well right Basically, well, that is the core of your deal. You freaking bring traffic to websites, right? Well, I need some of that too. So, yo, uh, make money. I know you mentioned that you may be interested on a, on a board seat. Oh, meta tags. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And backlinks. Yeah, I bet there is. Doesn't stop. Always something more to do. Right. 
If not, then it's just bolts chain linking your page and it won't help. You know, I haven't really been trying to get more popularity on the YouTube yet because I, I feel like I'm not bringing any new uh, content lately. But as soon as I'm done with this paperwork, I will. It's just a matter of right now I'm at the point where I got to get these board members. And then once I pick the board members, then I can push the paperwork forward. But they're waiting on me to pick these board members. They call me like every other day. So this weekend, I'm supposed to meet with Starlene. Starlene already works with nonprofits. She worked with two nonprofits. She know how they go. She know how to get funding. She knows a lot more about uh, the structure than I do. Key, very important. You know, it's one thing for sure is I can't do every flipping thing. Even though I try, it's not smart for me to do everything because there's so much talent out there. So right now I'm looking for talent. Talent, passion, willpower. And at the beginning, I imagine it's going to be a lot of volunteering. But as soon as we get this ball rolling, it's going to be paid positions. I say after the first year... I'm going to pay overhead for the first year as volunteer. After the first year, overhead is going to get paid. But I'm definitely on it. I'm on it, on it all day. Well, I had fun running around. It was good catching up with everybody. Do you use those keyword software things sometimes to make money? And that was a keyword freaking wizard himself. To be honest, I won't even take anyone who's looking to be compensated in a project like this. But you. True, it does have to be from the heart. But pe people still need to make an income. And when you're doing good for, when the cause is growing and it's becoming a beautiful thing, I want everybody to be compensated. I want everybody to be rich. You know, maybe not hundreds of thousands rich, but at least fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 richer. Me too. Oh, you do SEOs too, Diane? You little package plant. You stay busy. You stay active. See, can I use you for an example right quick? If you look for young ladies in America that is as versatile as Diane, right? You could honestly say like she's an African-American from the US. And then for her to be able to live to her capabilities, I think part of it is because she left this country. Hopefully it's temporary and she can come. Man, you know, I'm not even going to judge. If it's forever, that's for you. You have to make that decision. You know, it's American to say, hey, I hope you come back. You know, but nah, we seek our own happiness. And man, you live into your abilities, Diane. And by you bringing up that you freaking know about SEOs too. Like, just, show, just shows me like how hard you work every day. And that's something that we do not do here. So, hey, what's the wall is live? It's my boy DJ Underground right there. What's good, fam? What's good? What's our last comment? 
No, I'm not going to check it out though. Let's see what she said. It's a combination even with the best keywords become useless if there's not much traffic and some awareness. Are you a part of OMG? Oh, shut my back. No, I'm going to check it out though. What's OMG? Yeah, I, and honestly, I think I, I kind of do more after I came back. So before I left here, I was like zombie. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good thing I went to school though. But I was still blind. I was a zombie. And then once I left and came back, I was like, like criticizing everybody's thoughts. I'm like, man, that's you are thinking limited. Your thoughts are so limited. Limited thoughts here. Limited thoughts here. Limited thoughts for my family. Limited thoughts for my friends. And I'm like, whoa, that sucks. We have to change things. Uh, um, G machines is how I learn LCOs. It costs a little over 500 a month, but definitely worth it. We're about to go subscribe to you at Diane Cord. Yeah, does she know what's up? That's she's used to have a gossip blog though. The SEOs were straight. I like pulling like a thousand pretty views in a month for the first month for that price that I see you try to fill and you keep me in there. Take me a while to make real money with SEOs because it was like working at ATT corporate when I first started. Once I quit, I finally go website rankings and the first page is when the money started coming in. That's dope. Choo choo, I'll check that out. Thanks. The OMG machines. So why you gotta pay by the month? OMG machines, why, why is it a, a monthly pay fee? Might get a payment from Gordon today. Huh? We might get a payment from Gordon today. That's where, that's where Marvin's at right now. And he called me today, coincidentally. We won't, we're going to go over there to dinner one night. It's going to be amazing. My boy Gordon got this restaurant in Beverly Hills. Five-star restaurant. One of those top gourmet restaurants. They did a remodel last year. and We got lucky and we did the, um, the air conditioning downstairs. So he's been trying to get us to go to dinner over there. But man, you got to pull out a tuxedo to go eat in there. <laughs> you do. And then you got to know like where to put your hands, what silverware to use, where your napkins, and sit up straight and put a handkerchief in your shirt and all that bullshit. I mean, we got to watch a video on etiquette before we go. I told him that I told him today, hey Gordon, I'm looking forward to it, but I just have some anxiety. He's like, oh, don't worry. Wait. It teach a lot, Ken. You can learn e-commerce, SEO, social. Forget about the monthly payments. I like the boulevard at Beverly Hills, Wilshire. I've never been there. Actually. Tony, hey, don't get me wrong. I don't go to places like this. I just so happen to do the job and he wants us to go. So I've never been to the boulevard at Beverly Hills Wilshire. This place is on Roxford and um, Sunset, right on the corner. It's called Crest Stations. Look that shit up and that shit is beautiful. Crest Stations, Beverly Hills. It's the most amazing place I've ever been. 
ever been. So, and the dude, the owner, he's an amazing dude. You know, he's a white dude, but he's older, maybe like late 60s. And, um, man, he goes hard. I'll check it out when I go back to L.A. Man, it's hard to get reservations in there, too. Make sure you call them days in advance because they be selling. It's sold out every night. Is what I hear. But you know, I'm special, so he gonna come in and just set me wherever I wanna sit. You know, he gonna be like, yeah, we gonna make a place for you right here. Yeah, it's an amazing place. They got all type of um, um, videos on it, on YouTube. Maybe not all types, but I've seen a couple. Are you planning to fly back outside the country anytime soon? If you are where, so Wallace, man, I am focused on this nonprofit and I'm also running a, you know, a construction business. So I am not planning to travel this year because I need to make sure that both of these projects are successful. Um, good thing I do have help this time, but I'm going to sacrifice my uh, mental freedom for a little bit of financial freedom. And then next year, you know, I don't want to say I'm, I can't leave in October. I do want to leave in October for a little while. Yeah, tell me about the nonprofit that you're trying to get going. Sure. I'll tell him I know crypto can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He knows me. He knows me. I made. He knows I'm, you know, got into the YouTube situation. I tell him. He cool like that. I could tell him anything. His name is Gordon. Ah, oh, he say his last name, Coon. I think it's Coon. His, name, his first name's Gordon, though. All right, so the foundation. We strive. W-E for we. Strive. Uh, oh, yeah, I understood clearly. It's um, simple traveling rapidly increase vision in education. So simple traveling means like budget backpacking travel. Rapidly meaning like in a short amount of time. So the, go the goal is 100 days. And in those 100 days, your vision in life is going to just be clear. You know, and if it's not clear, you're going to have a better vision. You know, because I imagine before you travel or before these young people travel, they have no vision, no goals. Like I met a youngster today on this live stream and he is 20 years old. He is a leader. He look at me in the eye. He's strong. He's intelligent. He finished high school, not going to college, just worrying about making money. I'm like, no, brother, you got to go to school. This, this, he, I ain't the school person. I'm like, you know, me neither. And that's why I'm coming up with this foundation because you got to experience the world to really realize what America is worth, what America is for. We got to get that education here in America in order to have any type of fighting chance in this mug. We got to have be entrepreneurs in order to have a fighting chance in this mug. Yeah, anyone to travel outside the country will open up and expand the mind, especially us, especially us who felt incapable, felt like that wasn't for us, felt like there's nothing the world can offer us because we in the best country in the world. We've been brainwashed with this shit. So it's it's important to spend 100 days so that way you can de-brainwash your, 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 you know, what we've been taught about America and we can take our time we can dematerialize ourselves and we can focus on what true value of life really is like that's one thing that true value what is the true value of life and as a kid in LA I didn't respect nothing about life nor knew the value of what life was people has never left the country are clueless and it wasn't until I visited the Philippines. So I know you could identify with this. And part of seeing your story is, is what made me develop this idea into what it is today. 
um, and I'm still developing it and re visualizing it but at this point I got the um, article of incorporation um, I, I delivered it to legal zoom legal zoom has it in their hands they're processing it so they contacted me a couple days ago and they pressed me about board of directors now in California it's not required to have a board of directors to be incorporated but in order to qualify for the 503c3 501c3 tax exemption of a nonprofit you got to have three board members on there so I was just gonna throw my mom and dad on there let's get this done let's push it through put my mom and dad on there we could change it later but as I start to do more research on nonprofit and exactly what board members do there's a lot of advantages to having a, a passionate crew a passionate crew of board members who are willing to volunteer their time um, at least for the first year it's a big sacrifice and then they got to believe in the vision as much as I do so I'm in the process of, 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 of pitching it and um, seeing if I could find somebody who want to volunteer so that's where we at right now When you get things rolling, it may become something big for you. I think so. You know, in all reality, like, like I know I can make money every day. Like, that's not an issue. The issue is, what is my point on this earth? And I live in a, in a, in a hostile environment. So I'm like, how can I change this hostile environment? Or can't I? And through this dialect, through YouTube, I came up with this exciting vision to change the hostile environment one person at a time. And um, hey, it's fun. There's benefits to each person. There's benefits to the community. There's benefits to the sponsorer. There's just there's definitely benefits to the sponsoree there's benefits to me one day i'll be able possibly to make a living from this foundation one day i might be able to travel regularly with this foundation um regularly travel i'm talking like six times a year freaking weeks at a time like johnny appleseed baby <laughs> so following the article I got the domain name secured as we strive INC so we strive Inc because it's incorporated we strive Inc I got dot com so that way my man make money with crypto can ICO that shit I got we strive dot org so that way I can have a non-profit you know domain name that's legit and um get it now nah, i was just you didn't miss much i was just telling uh filling in the wallace fam on uh where we was at with the wee stride But uh, you didn't mention the business plan. All right. So I still haven't worked on the that email on the business plan. I seen it. I start reading through it, and I just got like overwhelmed. Cause you know, creating a business plan takes takes some time. You know, so. I'm going to print it out and I'm going to work on one page at a time. One page at a time. Thanks for bringing that up, my man. I appreciate that. That's big. So, and I kind of been procrastinating on the business plan too because I feel like the business plan needs to be there for loans. Yeah, so now I'm not trying to get a loan from the bank. I'm more or less going to um, apply for um, grants.
Right. So, right. And that's why I've been putting the business plan off is, is because I haven't been. But I believe the business plan is necessary for grants. Like you need to prove to the organization giving out the grant that you have a plan. So for loans, yeah, but for uh, grants, you don't need but to get money from the crypto platform is how I, or not the crypto platform, but from the crypto community is how I tend to fund the first expedition. And I'm pretty sure I can get, I came up with the, with the, with the budget. I got the budget at about $2,500. That's from two thousand at a low to 25 at a high and that's including some incidentals um but it's not including partying and drinking so um that's one thing that is not included into the plan you need that business plan because that's the foundation of everything and when you can pitch it to some celebrity positions yes i think you do need it to um show uh, any pers any big contributor your goals so anybody that wants to contribute let's say like five hundred dollars or more they want to see where their money is going they want to they're there i hear you on that if you want i can send you my own business plan as a skeleton of how to create one I make money with crypto. Good looking. The homie, um, Tony, that dude sent me a template on how to make a business plan. It's like make a business plan for dummy template. Like I wish I had that template when I was in college because I basically did uh, your strategy, uh, make money with crypto, your strategy by using someone else's plan and then me moving out their information and me putting in my information. But this dude got a, he sent it to me twice. Yep, and I got it saved. I downloaded it. I saved it on my desktop. Um, I looked at it and was like, whoa, 15 page business plan. Let me come back to this. And probably like three weeks went by. But um, in those three weeks, I think I got a lot done. But, um, you know, this is some shit that, like, you ain't supposed to sleep. I mean, you got to work late. You got to do this. You got to do that. I asked for it. So that's what I got to do. But the good thing is that this is like a, um, a, a leisure experiment. It's not like a crunch time. So Queen said, it's 2,500 enough for 100 days. What if something happens, like they get robbed? I would plan a budget that includes a just-in-case fund. So that is a just-in-case fund in there. The just-in-case fund isn't a lot. Yeah, people do get robbed, but people don't get robbed like in America. Um, tourist destinations do have a lot of, like, like, schemes and scams around. But if you're not in the tourist destination... Not only is it very affordable, but you do not get schemed and scammed. Hey, hey, for sure, Wallace fam, my holler, bruh. I'll check you out. Good looking out. Thanks for listening. I'm traveling as expenses at all. I honestly used to do. All right, so, Queen, I came up with a budget in hostels, guest houses, outside of the major cities are about three dollars to about seven dollars a night most of the time i spent between four dollars and five dollars a night and this includes the room a towel a bed a pillow shower toilet then access to like the couch, the TV, the games, the conversations, the people. And they also got like, you know, bus schedules and you name it because they offer services. They, all, they got food, they got all type of stuff for cheap to eat. I mean, we're not talking about in the tourist town. So when you bring up 
uh, budget, I think it's important for me to uh, identify the locations and the locations I feel should be Roar or Third World, Third World or something not so lights, camera, action. So like we ain't going to no Italy, France, Paris, you know, Spain. No, 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 no. I think for this experiment to be in my vision, how I visualize it, the experiment is in low budget situations. Now I've been through Laos. Laos is a wonderful place for the experiment because everything is so affordable. The people are so nice. It's so safe and there's tons of stuff to do. Leisure things like going to waterfalls and going to the top of mountains and going through the jungles and going to the rivers and going to the lakes and going to the temples and you know little stuff slow stuff and it might sound boring right but once you get into it oh man it's it's fun you find the funness out of anything well i did and that's why i call it an experiment because i can't expect everybody to like the things that i like but so i came up with a budget okay eating eating is about i'll say one to three dollars a meal in most places now through lao through southeast asia bali um myanmar india you spend in somewhere between one and three dollars and that's on a nice place sometimes you know uh a lot of times you can eat like whole meals sometimes the street food is the best food you can eat a whole meal for a dollar two dollars so i came up with a budget of about uh five dollars to about uh about five dollars a day for food you know sometimes you can spend more sometimes you can spend less you know, you might be in a house for a couple of days where you could buy groceries and cook and eat a lot cheaper than that. So if you add the bed up, you know, at about five dollars, the food at about five dollars and then another five dollars for adventure. So like for taxi rides, for going to different tours, going on, you know, to a show, going to, you know, doing your daily activity. So that's $15 a day. $15 times 100 days, $1,500. I don't know if that's right. I look at something real quick. Yeah. Then the flight, round trip flight in the slow season, you know, I got to be budget. I got to be economical. Um, that's the way I did it. And life is about budgeting and being economical. Um, we kind of lose the, the value of a dollar in America. And... Um, you know, making people budget and watch what they spend and seeing how far they money go. I think that's another, you know, form of education. So, um, yeah, 1500 plus flight during the slow seasons is about, I paid 550 I paid 600 I paid 650 So if I budget in there about 600 in the middle round trip, during the slow season, you know, we're, we're looking at about 21. Accidentals. Accidentals can be as low as nothing and as expensive as tens of thousands of dollars. So it's like making an accidental budget is is always good, but it's, it's always just a guess. So for the sake of budgeting 
I made an accidental budget of like three to four hundred dollars. So that puts the budget at twenty five hundred dollars per person. I hear Europe is the more expensive place to backpack. Expensive. I've been to Ghana, South Africa, Arobi, Dominican, cool people. Hell yeah. You know how to get around that chill with the locals like bartenders or waiters and ask them to show you around and give them back while you hang out with them. You can make long lasting relationships. See, that's real talk right there. Corey knows that from experience because he's done it. Hey, and I've done it too. I got a bunch of pictures of me hanging out with bartenders out at the bar. Um, I go back to that bar and they tell me where to sleep. And you can learn some communication, social skills. Once you empathize with human beings, you then love everybody for whatever they have, whatever they offer, whatever they say, however they say hi. You appreciate the little small shit. But um, yeah, I love that idea. And I think teaching someone to be open-minded like that of course you can't predict the scenario for them completely but you got to give them those um those possibilities so then that way when they see the opportunity they can take advantage and make some long-lasting relationships souvenirs and tips that once in a lifetime trip man and it is it is because i mean I don't like to say once in a lifetime because, man, once I went on my once in a lifetime, two month extravagant voyage, met the most quality relationships in the shortest amount of time, I wanted to relive that. And I tried, I tried, it wasn't the same, but I tried to relive that. Matter of fact, I got a shout out today on Facebook from the homie Vikram, who's from France. He's a, he's a French um, Indian. Indian. From in, India. Welcome to 7-Eleven. Yeah, yeah, I believe he's from India. Or his descent. His culture is from India. But his dad moved to um, France. His dad ended up becoming a lawyer. And I met this dude traveling in Thailand. And man, we ended up becoming like homies. And like we still talk. Homies freed in a mug. He's like 10 shades darker than me. And um, he got a job for British Airways. He ain't even from Britain. But he went to Britain and got a job for the airline. And um, he flying to the U.S. this, this summer. I can't wait. I'm going to blog it. I'm going to show you all this dude Vikram the shit. But, um, yeah, those relationships is so easy to build. They change your life. They make you feel human. They make you feel alive. They make you feel like you, know, you got purpose. Like, life is good. Yeah, when you leave, you want to cry. And then when you see them somewhere, you want to hook back up, at least if it's for just a little while. But yeah, that's, 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 that's what's cracking. But, uh, so, Queen, what's up? You think 2500 can be enough in that situation? We ain't talking about staying in no hotels, girl. We staying in, in budget hostels. Budget hostels is dope, though. You know how many friends you make per day? At least 10, 15 friends per day. If you Imagine if you're in a room with, you know, let's say, let's say a, a small room that only got four bunk beds. That's seven new friends you met that day. You know, so... It becomes important to stay in hostel so that way you can have a, you know, 
a group of freaking friends at your not disposal but at your at your convenience you know when you're staying in a hotel room you in there with the door shut and the tv on and you ain't talking to nobody but uh yeah i was hoping queen would uh reply to that she probably busy doing something it might work I'm trying to get the American view of spending money out my head right. And that's part of the of the um, experiment too. And I'm glad you brought that up. And I like I like the criticisms. We need that. And um and, and it is a low budget and uh, we do spend a lot of money. And like I said, this includes travel costs, eating costs, and experience so like uh um taxi rides and stuff like that taxi rides and bus rides is really cheap you can get a taxi ride on a tuk-tuk or on a motorcycle or even in a taxi car for a dollar a dollar that take you from the bus station to your hostel and then you walk around. Everybody's going to have a phone with maps. So instead of you taking a taxi a mile away, you're going to walk two miles. You're going to walk. You got all day. Ain't nothing wrong with walking. And that's, that's the beauty of it. Is that you learn a whole new perspective on what is important. That, that time thing just goes away. Like, I tell people, yeah, I took a 24-hour bus from Von Bing, Laos, to the capital of Vietnam, which is Hanoi. It's at the top of, uh, of uh, Vietnam. 24 hours. I was cool with it. The locals was getting on the bus and dancing and singing and waking me up. So I wake up. They was trying to wake me up because they wanted to see what I look like. They're like, oh, that's a Westerner on our bus. We don't see Westerners out here. And then this complexion Westerner, we want to hear them talk. So man, they would like jump around next to me trying to wake me up because they wanted to meet it. So I get up and I sing and dance with them and play and they'll be laughing. They'll be laughing so hard. Dude, that shit gave me energy to continue. And then I'll listen to them. And I'll try to sing it like them. And then I'll sing like a rap song. And they'll all like make the beat. And I'll be like, yeah. And they, and we was having fun on that stupid local bus. Only 24 hours. We'll stop and get some food. Use the restroom. We'll stop like every... The, the Asians, they like to eat a lot. So we'll stop like every three, four hours. Stop and eat, use restroom, chill, then get back on the bus, keep going. The best, I mean, how much did it cost to take that 24 hour bus? You'll be surprised. I don't remember what I spent, but it was probably like $7 or something like that. Because it was a local bus. It wasn't like a, a Greyhound bus. Or like a fucking, or yeah, a Greyhound bus is all I can think of. A mega bus. Nah, this was this was like a local bus, but it was like an old local bus where the seats went back a little bit, but it stopped everywhere. It didn't stop everywhere, but it stopped a lot of places to pick up people, to pick up stuff. And uh, but it stopped like every four hours where people got off and used the bathroom and ate and stuff. But it stopped really pretty much the whole way. You know, let on new people. I wake up, it'd be all new people on the bus. I go to sleep, all them people left. And But yeah, it wasn't much. I don't think it was more than $8 to take that 24-hour bus. The fuel is cheaper out there and the corporations don't exist. So, like, if you imagine in a local town, it's a local business, and they just want to make local money. 
You know, they're not trying to make hundreds and thousands of millions of dollars in profits. You know, they just want to make, they want to keep it affordable for the locals to be able to afford. But uh, even now, buses out of out of like major cities, like let's say out of like Bangkok, out of Bali, out of Hanoi, even down south, they got um, Ho Chi Minh City. Now, when you get to the major cities, you spend a little bit more. You got to put that bus in the budget. It is. Remember, it's a 24-hour day bus ride. We already got a budget for each day at about, well, what was it, uh, $20, something like that. And if he only spending $7 plus food that day, he going to be well under budget for travel days. Right? Under budget because he ain't got to buy no room. He ain't got to pay for no tours, no trolleys, no taxis, no buses, no nothing. He just $7 his whole day. Bing. You know, so there's, and not to mention, I want to advocate them or push them to volunteer or find jobs along the way. So what a lot of Europeans do is they might go like to a party town, right? And in that party town, town, they like Westerners to bring in other Westerners because they know Westerners got the money to go party. They don't mind spending a dollar on a beer. And then they might end up spending $5 because they gonna drink five beers. So they get the locals, I mean, not the locals, the travelers to like promote for them. So you'll see like a, a Westerner out there passing out business cards, trying to bring in, um, you know, kids that's going to go party into their bar. And if they see like someone speaking English, clear, not with a, with a European accent, but with an American accent, then right away, the party person is going to be like, oh, this club is going to be popping because this freaking fluent English speaking motherfucker is right here promoting it. So they're willing to pay Westerners to promote for their club crazy money. I'm talking like five dollars for like four hours of work, you know, crazy money. That is crazy money when you're traveling. You learn that the value of a dollar changes a lot of times they won't even give you money they'll be like hey you know what we'll give you a place to stay tonight and we'll give you four drinks at the bar and you're like hmm four drinks at the bar can be like three to four dollars um, a place to sleep that can be three to four dollars that's eight dollars for some work i'll do it you know and you can have a great time doing it too i've seen it i've never done it because I always been on a schedule. I had I didn't have that much time just to chill. Um, but imagine if you're on a hundred day voyage and you wanna just post up in this little town for three or four days and you work, make some money. We're freaking and bounce to the next time. Not only did you not spend any of the money in your budget, but you will also inquire income or just not spend the money in your budget and then you can pull it out later you know so smart people can be able to um you know make this money work i did it i did it i traveled for weeks at a time and was able to like to spend a lot of money here budget for the next three weeks save money spend a lot of money here and at the end of the day i was able to leave with souvenirs to buy some shit you know just from budgeting and it's fun to budget and everybody budgets and it's, I, I like to call it being economical that's what life is about that's, what, that's why they call it an economy an economy is to economize not waste like the Indians cut the waste But, uh, man, I got a couple phone calls to make. I got to go have a meeting. But I'll holler at y'all. I need to get pushing. Uh, my boy already told me twice to make these phone calls, so I got to get going.
All right, much love, Queen. And we'll talk some more. We should probably think about getting on this board. I think you could be a real value to it. All right, much love, Tony. I'm going to start on those pages. I'm going to print it out. You're going to be impressed. Hey, right, Crypto for the Moon. That's what's up. I didn't know you was in here. Good looking. Thanks for the shout out. Thanks for listening to my vision and ideas and supporting me. Like I said, I couldn't have even started to think about this without y'all. I appreciate it. All right. I'm out. Um, next video I got to do of um, board member. I hope to have a board member to share with y'all. And I can share like some good things this person has done or hope to do. You know. All right, I'm gone. Peace.